We use artificial intelligence in order to optimize the digestion of cows, allowing farmers to produce more milk at lower cost while significantly reducing methane emission. Now, cows burp. Yeah, they just do. And um, when they burp, they leak energy. Had this energy stayed inside the cow, it could have been used to produce more milk. And in terms of numbers, we're talking about $20 billion worth of potential additional milk for the dairy community. Instead, it becomes the single largest source of carbon emission. Now, it all boils down to technology. We know that countries that are more technologically advanced, like the US, actually produce less methane for every gallon of milk. Our team has developed a technology that can look at the rumen microbiome, the microbes that live inside the cow's rumen, and using this data to come up with a personalized diet and a personalized recommendation for feed additives that should be given to every specific herd. The result is tripling the effectiveness of these feed additives. Now, in terms for the benefit for the farmers, you're talking about more milk for the same amount of food, meaning they increase their profitability. But alongside that, there is a significant trimming in the emission. The way this is done starts with a sample of microbiome that we take from 15 cows from each herd. This sampling is done on site. It's a pretty routine procedure taken care of by the farmers or their veterinarians. This sample is then being sent to one of the sequence labs that we work with. It doesn't require any special cooling, just, just sent over mail. And we take a look at the data that is coming out of this sequencing. We currently have the world's largest data set of this kind. We measured over 2,000 cows individual methane emission and sequenced nearly 1,000 cows microbiome samples. Using this unique data set and our technology, we can analyze the requirement of this specific herd and come up with the best customized recommendation for it. Now, the microbiome of the cows constantly changing. It's adapting to changes in weather, in the diet of the, the, the herd, uh, pathogens, um, uh, etc. So this process has to be revised every three months. Now, oftentimes, farmers would uh, tell you, if you ask them about feed additives, uh, well, we, you know, we read in the news that a tremendous amount of uh, effort and capital is being invested into the development of new additives. Just tell us what's the best one. We'll, we'll gladly use it. Now, in reality, there isn't such a thing as the best feed additive. There is the best feed additive for your specific herd at this specific point in time. That's the catch. Now, this is what we bring to the table. We bring precision. We call it precision fermentation using the data that we collect from the microbiome and the analysis of this data, we can empower the farmers and their nutritionists, allowing them to make data-driven decisions that are the optimal decisions for their specific herds. And then, as I said, the effect is, is quite significant. It's three times higher the, the effectiveness of these additives. We currently work with over 20 trial sites, and these are real commercial farms, real commercial farmers uh, producing, literally producing more milk. And uh, just this morning, I had a, a call with one of our farmers, and he told me, uh, and this is, this is fresh news from this morning, uh, his data reports an increase of 30% in their farm's profitability. Now, I know, because we measure the methane emission from this farm cows, I know that we also witnessed a decrease of 30% in the methane emission. So we literally were able to divert this energy back to the cows to create more milk instead of being released to the atmosphere. And this is, this is you know, if you cannot think of something more exciting that, than that, I think. Uh, in addition to farms, we just uh, recently also started to work with um, dairies and uh, cooperatives, uh, both in the US uh, uh, and uh, Europe uh, and uh, New Zealand. Um, I'm a researcher at MIT for the past 20 years. I've been studying AI uh, and the way it can be used in order to change the world uh, and solve the toughest problems that we 
faced with. Uh, and uh, our team comprised of um, world-class experts in microbiome analytics, in rumen, nutrition, and medicine, in engineering, um, AI, of course, and uh, sustainability, all working together to create value for the entire uh, value chain, to create value for the farmers, for the dairies, um, for the consumers, and of course, for the environment. So I invite you all to join us in our, in our exciting journey. Thank you. <laughs>